What's up YouTube? If you read the title, then you know exactly what this video is about. But before that, you know, it's Tuesday morning. I gotta get it. Today run almost kicked my ass. I think I did about just under 10 miles. Uh, it was going good at first, and then all of a sudden my legs just was like, yeah, I wanna go back. But I was like, man, I still got halfway more to go. So today's run kicked my ass. Uh, all right, shit, let me get to it. Eating my post-run breakfast. Avocado, eggs, rice, and tomatoes. What's up everybody? So, if you're watching this video, you're thinking about becoming a merchant seaman, and you might be looking at some of the negative aspects of going out to sea, being away from home, stuff like that. And that's not so much what this video is about, but this is some things that I wish I did know before I came out here. A lot of you, depending on what age you are, if you're in your early 20s, in early mid 20s you got you may have a bunch of friends that you hang out with that you your close friends your close knit group that is one thing that you're going to have to get used to not being able to see them whether it be your girlfriend friends loved ones you just got to get used to not being able to see them communicate with them and that's going to change the dynamic of y'all's friendship that's inevitable no matter how you want to look at it it's going to change the dynamic of your friendship once you touch that ship and you're gone for four five six even a year you know what i'm saying when you come home things are going to be different the friends that you have is going to be different the friends that you feel like were ride or dies to forever you know what i'm saying it's gonna change how they communicate with you how they act with you because they had to get used to you not being home you know so when you come home again after you've been gone for five, six months, it's sad to say, expect things to be different. I know this seems so obvious, but it doesn't occur to people how different people can change up. Because that happened to me. The friends that I was like, 100%, we were hanging out every day, down for each other, everything. They, It's not so much they changed up, but the way they had to, because remember, they gotta get used to you being gone. So you, when you're on the ship, you're going to realize everything that you feel like is at home is going to stay exactly the same. That's how you feel like it's in your brain. But when you get home, you realize, oh shit, things kept rolling. Things kept rolling. People needed to live a life. If they were used to hanging out with you every single day, then you pretty much disappeared. They had to adjust. So when you get home, they may be a little distant you know what i'm saying it may take a little bit of time for y'all to get back to being friends this is just friends this is not relationships but relationships apply to this too but just friendship wise and <laughs> the friends you thought was going to be there forever you may realize they they just weren't they're not going to be they're they were a temporary they were a stepping stone you know what i'm saying and it sucks to hear that it sucks to hear that guy girl it doesn't matter who you are it sucks to hear that the friend that you had your whole life may change up on you like once you leave and it's not it may not even be jealousy or it may be jealousy like one of my friends I don't really want to get too much into it but he deaf when I left and I came back he just the way he approached me was different you know what I'm saying and I was thinking, I came home thinking like, oh yeah, we're all about to have fun, you know what I'm saying? And obviously I had a little bit of money, but I wasn't, at least I didn't feel like I was flying in or nothing. I wasn't, I didn't change up. I was just excited to be home, you know what I'm saying? I was gone for 10 months straight. So when I got home, I was like, oh, I'm about to hang out with my homies. At least one, one or two specific friends, but they completely like, they weren't rude or anything, but they changed up. They was like, yeah, they ain't really want to fuck with me as much. And... It's sad to say a couple years later, I found out it was because they felt like I was different because I had money, you know? But obviously when you start making money, especially the way you make money out here, you start are able to do different things. Not saying everybody's gonna change up 
at some point once you hit a different level. You know what I'm saying? So I understand it, but at the same time, it's one of those things that is gonna sting once you realize. So that's one thing that you really gonna have to really get used to. Things are gonna be different when you get home. Another one that you really need to realize is when you get out here is the people that you meet out on these ships or overseas or stuff like that, watch out who you become friends with. I know I'm harping on friendships, but you may meet people on the ships and they're gonna be people you live with. Like y'all are roommates at this point. You may not live in the same room, but y'all are roommates. You all live on one boat together and it'd be maybe for four, five, six, seven, eight months to a year together. So you are gonna get comfortable talking to them, whether it be about your goals, your aspirations or whatever. Be careful about that. People out there may be one thing to your face, but another whole different person behind your back. You know what I'm saying? So don't tell everybody your shit. If you're comfortable with somebody and like you feel like you're really cool, you're really cool, it's okay to open up, but that's just like with any job, to be honest. But especially out there, because you're with that person all day, every day. And some ships, you may even sleep in the same room with them. Like, you can talk to everybody, but be careful what you tell them. Because they may stab you in the back one day. And then, I'm not saying it's a doggy dog world out there and on these ships, but... It kind of is. I mean, I've been burned before. Uh, somebody that I thought was like, we were cool. We were really close. I found out, like, we hung out almost all the time. We would go out. We was on three different ships together, and we hung out all the time. But then I found out from somebody else that he was talking behind my back the whole time. And he was, I don't want to say he was jealous, because at that by that point, like, the third time we got on the ship together, third or fourth time, I think, I had already had like my second house, like I had the trucking business I had, so I was I was really making moves, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying he was jealous, but I felt I feel like that was that did play a part in it. Because I wouldn't I was the type I would tell you everything because you my boy. I'm like, hey, I just got me another house, you know what I'm saying? Check this out, blah 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 blah. And I talked to some people. Some people say I may seem condescending, but the ones that really fuck with me be like, no, nah, I, I get it. You're cool. I'm, I'm happy that you're telling me this type of stuff because it inspires me. You know what I'm saying? So it's all, it's it's one of those, be careful. Like, you don't know who you're going to be hanging out with. You don't know these people. Like, you may know them for those six, seven months and y'all cool. Y'all hanging out every single day. Even when y'all going to port, y'all hanging out. But at the end of the day, you don't know what their home life is like. Unless you happen to be friends with someone that when you meet them on a ship, you end up be living in the same area and y'all hanging out a lot when you're home. Like I got another best friend, me and him, we hang out all the time. So me and him, we like we actually close. It's like one of my best friends. So, but still, that's another one of those things that you really need to look at and pay attention to. Be mindful of what you do tell people out there. Don't tell everybody your business. Just don't. You know what I'm saying? Again, you may have some friends you can talk to, but don't don't be telling everybody your business. Some people don't care, and some people may care, and they may try to use some things against you. And that's it has happened to me, but not to like a crazy extent. But I've seen it happen to like a lot of different people. Another thing: be prepared to not be able to speak to anybody at home. That's um. Like you may get on a ship and there's no Wi-Fi, no computers, or if there is, I've never been on a ship with it's not a computer, but the computers may be down and you don't have any Wi-Fi. If you come into MSC, there's no Wi-Fi. You will have ships and stuff like that. So you may be on a ship for a week, two weeks at a time, and you can't talk to nobody from home. I need y'all to understand this. For those of you that is so used to being on your phone all day, every day, and then not being able to talk to anybody period it's a huge mental shift you have to be prepared for that because if you're the type of person that's used to talking to their mama their dad their sister their girlfriend or boyfriend or husband or whatever every single day be mindful that that is a thing that you may not be able to get 
especially if you sell MSC, because they don't have phones or Wi-Fi all the time. They may have it when they're in port, but you don't have it overseas or when you're in the water, and then you may be in the water for a week to two weeks at a time. So be mindful of that. Uh, there's not really a way to prepare for it, but you that's something you probably should try to do. Prepare for that, like mentally. Another one, simple. Get yourself a laptop. I wish somebody told me this before, but get yourself a laptop and get you a hard drive and then find some website that you can download a bunch of shows, a bunch of teeth, a bunch of movies. And um, But you really, everybody out there is gonna have a laptop or a hard, external hard drive. So you'll probably be able to get movies and TV shows for a bunch of other people, but have a laptop, have one. I don't care what nobody say, have one. Don't just have a tablet, no, have a laptop so you can watch all the movies you can, because there's going to be times you're going to be out to sea and you're bored and you're like, God dang, I need something to do. You may have already worked out, you've done your day, and you just want to watch a movie to go to sleep or something like that. Have a laptop, because if you don't, it's going to be very sad. My first two years, I didn't have anything, so it's going to be very sad times. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's going to be very sad times out there, so have a laptop. I wish somebody told me that when I first came in, but I'm telling you. So if you watch this video, don't say I didn't prepare you for that. I'm telling you, have a laptop. Make sure you have a debit card and a credit card, preferably two different banks, preferably. Just in case one, you lose one, because there's gonna be a card that you mainly use. And you may be one night drunk out in port, and you may leave a, leave a credit card. If you're a debit card or credit card out there, and you don't have a backup, don't be that guy. Have a backup, whether it be a credit card or debit card. I recommend always using a credit card when you're out there, but have that debit card just as a backup, just in case, you know what I'm saying? Because there have been times, it's not it happened to me, but it happened to a couple of my friends that they did not have the extra card and they left their card at the, whether it be a bar or something like that, and they had no way of getting any cash, so, and they had already spent the cash that they pull out. So that is something, I, that hasn't happened to me, so I've been privileged, but it is a thing that happens. So always have a second card with you. And then obviously, sometimes you can always pull cash out so you don't even have to take any cards, but I recommend having a card always. I don't care what anybody say, always have, a, not at least, have a debit and have a credit. Have two different cards, two different banks. I told you, so don't get out there and get screwed over because you don't have shit. One debit, one credit, two different banks, always. This is the last one, and this is the most important one. I don't want to say the most important, but it is very important. For those guys, guys or girls, doesn't matter, that is ambitious, you want to start doing everything. As soon as you start making paychecks, you want to be like, you're looking at buying a house, buying, starting a restaurant, doing all this stuff. That's all cool. 100%, but relax. What I did the first, really three years, but the first, my first year, because the only thing I had was a student loan and it was only like $5,000 and I could have paid it off after my second check or something like that, but I wasn't one of